Hello, all of you extraordinary people. At the behest of my spouse, I've been having a good time putting together some old G.I. Joe toys. And I think that I've uh, successfully pulled things off without breaking any crotches. I have big plans for these tiny action figures. I would like to have them on display. I have much nicer, prettier ones. But, for example, I have faded spirit. Or I have a faded cutter. Maybe the paint's scuffed. Maybe, like, his face there is a little wobbly. I don't know what happened to him, but it looks like he's been sacked. Or maybe he was born that way in some form of birth defect. But I love him all the less. I mean, all the more. I love him all the more. I don't want my duke to fall apart, so I would use the broken crotch duke, which is more common. Everyone's got a broken crotch duke, and I would use my broken crotch duke. Wait, look who's here, everyone. Speak of the devil. It's duke. Duke is going to ask everyone why they get to keep their crotch, but his was sacrificed in an accidental handling. I'm so sorry, Tiny Duke. Tiny Duke, did you have something you wanted to ask them? Yes, why do you all get to keep your crutch? But mine was forsaken. And all of the other tiny fellows, he would say, Ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha. I couldn't help but notice something very interesting. 1982 and 1983. Those years when there was a release of a figure, and later on they updated at the waist, changing the belt buckle of the straight arm, Turn to swivel arm action figure. Look at these two yahoos right here. Yes, the figure molds have been reused, but that's not my point. Look there at the belt buckles. Do you see anything? On the left, you see what looks like a military clasp of some kind, and it's been updated on the right. To that clasp. You'll notice their underswear, or their... That ...has the very large buckle. Later turn to the smaller buckle. You can notice here that the underwear is more like a diaper, and here it's a little more form-fitting, and room for the legs to be exposed. There you can see as well. The 1983 update. Military-looking clasp. I did have a cotton-wed military belt when I was digital, but the belt did not quite do that when interlocked. I still am yet to see any military buckles that might be doing this. As I was staring at the military buckles, I thought to myself, this is very strange. Something is rather familiar about them. What is going on with this updated belt buckle? Why does it look so familiar? Why does this remind me now of something else? Not the crutch. I'm still talking about the buckle. Get your mind out of the gutter. Someone put dookie all over this. Yeah. See the difference? Oops. Methinks this is something unique to Hasbro. I'm wondering if, for some reason, this would be a way for Hasbro to say, hey, this is our action figure. We've run into trouble before. I can't find anything on the internet, unless I'm typing in the wrong information. But this style belt buckle and this style belt buckle, fluffy looking cotton web belt, I'm guessing, and this much finer line. At one point, to make sure there was no confusion, Hasbro did something with the larger figures long ago. Now, I have my gigantic, half-naked, almost-naked min collection available for you to look at so that you can see what I'm talking about. I've heard tale there was a production error on the thing I want to show the most, but I've also heard that it was deliberate in case somebody wanted to make knockoffs using Hasbro molds, then Hasbro could pursue them legally. Like, say, the scar on the right side of the face. Let me see if there's a buttock here with copyrights. Yep, his right buttock. Copyrights. And on its left hand, a thumbnail. On the wrong side of the thumb. Now I'm wondering, since they carry this over to the modern figures, is this for tradition? Is this for fun? Is this a necessary precaution? But what I'm wondering is, 
if this is, and I cannot find this anywhere on the internet, telling if it is or isn't, is this a Hasbro way of copywriting these figures and it fell to the wayside? Because look, this looks like a Hassenfield H to me. And this looks like the then updated but old now Hasbro symbol. Am I on to something? Am I seeing what I want to see? Has anyone talked about this already? And I'm late to the game. I'd like to know. The next model. <laughs> Never mind. I found this. This new West piece also sported an odd-looking belt buckle that was highly reminiscent of the Hasbro Corporation's logo. The ultimate guide to G.I. Joe, 1982 to 1994, second edition. This sucks. I really thought I was onto something. <laughs>